Hey everyone, and welcome to Yahaha Tutorials. In the last episode, we talked about the rigid body component. Today, we are going to dive into the second component, physics material. So, let's begin. The physics material component in a game enables you to adjust the physical properties of game objects, such as friction and bounciness, which are critical for creating realistic physics-based interactions. To create a physics material component, click on the component button, select physics material from the gameplay tab, you can then adjust the following properties. Dynamic friction refers to the resistance an object experiences when it is already in motion and moving against another object. Static friction on the other hand is the resistance an object experiences when it is stationary and trying to be set in motion against another object. It requires more force to overcome static friction and initiate motion. Both dynamic and static friction are influenced by various factors. The coefficient of friction, which ranges from 0 to 1, is used to quantify the frictional behavior between two objects. A coefficient of 0 represents a completely slippery surface like ice, while a coefficient of 1 represents a surface with maximum frictional resistance. Mountainous is easy to understand. It has a value ranging from 0 to 1. A higher value will make the object bounce more when it collides with other objects. So how is friction between two colliding objects combined? You have four options. Average, which means the two friction values are averaged. Minimum, which takes the smaller friction value. Multiply, which multiplies the two friction values. And maximum, which takes the larger friction value. On the other hand, bounce combined is about how the bounciness of two colliding objects is combined. Again, there are the same four options to choose from. Please keep in mind that in Yahaha, contact surfaces that extend beyond a single point, such as the stack boxes, are treated as having two contact points. As a result, the friction value will be twice that of real-world physics. So, that's all for the physics material component. Thanks for watching.